Coach, at one point in this game, you were down 28 to 14. What'd you tell your East Jasmine team? You guys came back with a vengeance, 49 30, uh, to 34, beat them by two. You really turned the tide there. Um, we talk about it all the time. There's no magic play. You just got to play better football. Yeah. Hold on the ball. Don't get penalties. Block your man. Set the edge on defense. Take it away when you can. Guard who you're supposed to guard. If you do that, that's why you're better, yeah. you know. It's not magical. We've got a game plan. We're going to live with it. We just got to execute it better, and that's what they did. If you're if, if you're the opponent playing East Jasmine, who in the world do you stop? Turner McCollin, do you stop Valdon, who I, I love that name. I told you that out <laughs> on the show. Do you stop Dylan Moore? Do you stop Motley? Do you stop, uh, you know, you got number three Taylor that's running right, in there. I right. mean, who in the world do you stop? Well, everybody's had trouble with it all year long, so uh, – I don't know. If, if they told me, I'd go away from them. Uh, I did tell Valdon early in the game, I said, listen, they're, they're a brick wall. They do a good job on defense. William Blair is their defensive coordinator, good friend of mine. He runs a very, very good program on the defensive side. Coach Clark does an amazing job with their program. They're really good. Yeah. And uh, I said, we're going to soften them up, and yeah. then we're going to hit them on buck sweep and get <laughs> outside. And so I let my big boys kind of hammer on them a little bit, let, uh, let those guys take a few shots at them, and then Turner kept us in the game. And we just made some big plays tonight. Caleb Smith, the last last catch there, uh, that was huge to get the first down. So, you know, I, I'm pretty proud. And these guys, are, they're good at football, and they make me look good. Yeah. Well, tonight you get the win, but you know the defense stepped up tonight. Yeah, I we mean, did. We only gave up seven points in the second half. That really was the ball game. You know, at halftime you're sitting there 28-28, and it was just basically we didn't recover an onside kick, and then um, they turned it over, and then it's like, okay, it's going to be a ping-pong match all night long. And our defense just rose to the occasion and wore them down, and then our offense just kept hammering. And so finally the tide's turned in our favor, and I, I'm really, really proud. This is the first time I've really thought we got a good football team. Yeah. I really do, because I know Madison Southern's a good football team. Yeah. And late in the game we were taking it to them. You're five and two now, Coach. I'm impressed with your football team. You still have the top rushing uh, football team in five A football, <laughs> yeah. and I know that's something right. you, you hang your hat right. on. Right. You, you know when you're trying to build from the ground up like we are, and you're trying to get through that uh, first two rounds of playoffs, which we've never done. You got to kind of hang your hat on something. And our kids take a lot of pride in running that football, which means you better take pride in the weight room. You know we. Yeah. We, we lift the weights and get after it, and our kids run hard in the game, and, and I think that's a, a testament to our offseason. Is there a better team in the state than a 3-4 and four team than and Southern? No, Madison Southern is definitely the best 3-4 and four team you're going to find. They've got weapons everywhere. Uh, Tobias Storm is a yeah. ridiculously good quarterback. Uh, Walt Smith might be the best sophomore in the state of Kentucky. He is really good. Uh, they, they've just got weapons. They're well coached. Uh, they're going to be uh, they're going to be tough. And I told Coach Clark, you know, I, I'm not throwing shade to anybody else, but there's a chance we'll see them again. I really believe yeah. they've got a good program and they're going to make a run. And and I know our kids are set on making a run. So you know, it could come by. We could be right back here in five or six weeks. We'll see. Well, you know, at uh, Prep Spin, we're big on polls, Coach. And we <laughs> had the poll this week, and uh, you went out uh, barely over uh, a Corbin Lafayette game that was a 21 to seven game wow. there for Corbin, but uh, uh, you won. Uh, nine 900 votes on that poll. Oh, so. awesome, awesome. That means we're getting a little support. And I know Southern's got a, you know, they made the finals two years ago. They got a lot of support over there. So there's a lot of people in Berea probably wanting to watch you all online yeah. tonight. So yeah. uh, we couldn't be happier. Well, Coach, as always, we give you the Mingy Beach Jerk. You take, <laughs> you got, you. You've, I got you're getting some. a lot of that I'm stuff getting, now. I'm getting good. good this is yeah. good tasting stuff. I really appreciate it. Yeah, let's get uh, Dylan and uh, Turner in here now. All right. Our, as our, sweet and that's sweet uh -oh, and hot. Got sweet and hot. All right, got a new flavor. Appreciate yeah. you guys. Thanks, Thank coach. you. Okay. Mike Bolin, and let's get uh, uh, Dylan Moore in here real quick, and then we'll talk to uh, uh, Turner McCollin as well. And uh, Dylan, uh, you guys uh, on your, as I said to coach, uh, pick your poison. Uh, let's get over here, Dylan. Uh, pick your poison here. Uh, so you get in the camera shot. Uh, do you stop Dylan Moore? Do you stop uh, Turner McCollin? Do you stop uh, Valdon? I mean, Motley, uh, you know, Taylor. I mean, you guys have so many weapons, but uh, that's what makes you guys such a good football team. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We uh, we, we can run a lot, and then if we need to pass, then we'll pass. So yeah. It works out. Yeah, and uh, Caleb Smith makes catches like that for you, like yes, he sir. did. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But what did you do in the second half defensively? You held them to seven points in the second half. Uh, I mean, we just we, we work things out at halftime like always and uh, just did what we need to do. That's it. Yeah. And uh, Cameron Seeger back there at linebacker, you don't even have to use him. I mean, he's another weapon you could use on offense. Uh, yes, sir. It was yes, a good sir. weapon last year. Yeah, last year he was really good. And anytime if we have somebody go out, we know that he can be in there to help us. So. Well, we know you're a good academic student too, but uh, with, a, I think, 4.0 in the classroom there here at East Jasmine and uh, just doing it uh, the right way. And uh, you're doing it really good out here on the football field. I tell you, you're a real, you, you can uh, run the ball and catch the ball out of the backfield. Uh, what do you think the sights are set for East Jasmine? Uh, I mean, I think 
sky's the limit. I think that we can go as far as we we let ourselves go. I mean, I think that uh, I think we can, I think we make it all the way. To be yep. honest, I think we can make it all the way to state. That sounds good to us. Well, thank you, uh, sir. Thank you for joining us. Good Thanks, game sir. tonight. And let's get uh, the quarterback in here. And uh, he had a heck of a game tonight, uh, Turner McCollin. And uh, congratulations. Uh, the, you know, you opened the opened the game up there with the uh, 30-yard TD run. Uh, what was going through your mind, uh, you know, out there uh, with, with so many op uh, openings on there? I mean, you were just yes, just gassing them. Yeah. Um, well, shout out to our line, obviously. Yeah, uh, true. Yeah. True. Um, but just East Chestnut football, you yeah. know, just waggle, counters, buck, yeah. all that stuff. Just East yeah. Chestnut football. We practice it the same thing. We practice the same plays we run. We add some, but we, we always stick to our – Well, with you, know. you at quarterback, you, you guys have added another dimension because the other team are thinking, okay, is the quarterback going to keep it? But you're so <laughs> good at disguising and hiding that football. Coach Meehan was talking about you throughout the broadcast, how good you were with, uh, you know, hiding the football Thank out you, there. Kind of like an old Highlands team from yeah. <laughs> back in the day where they hide the football. Well, that's a big thing we stress that, you know, from day one. Like, at first day I was here as a freshman, that was the first thing I learned was seeding the football, hiding it as soon as you do your first step. Mm -hmm. So that's a big part of it all. Uh, the quarterback that went down here, help me out. What was his name, the quarterback? There was a quarterback that was injured, I believe. Was that uh, – uh, wait here, or yeah. at, uh, maybe I was at West. But yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah, that was no yeah, yeah, West. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're yeah. Elephant. He's but, back, though. but but tell us about uh, the rest of this team. How they're how they're responding. How they're rebounding uh, t to you as the quarterback. Well, um, I mean, I played quarterback last year too for yeah. some of the season because we had a guy go out, and uh, I just I don't just everybody. I've played with a bunch of them for years. They're also my best friends. I've played with them since I was third grade. So. They know what I can do, and I know what they can do. So I know they got my back no matter what. So. Well, you guys are five and two now. I yeah. mean, uh, and, and really, you know, you lost to Franklin County by a touchdown. You could have won that game. Good they're team. a very good team, yeah. undefeated team. I think they're ranked, they're ranked third and four A. I'm pretty sure. Yes, yeah. yes, they are. And uh, so looking down, I know you don't like a, like to look ahead, but yeah. uh, down your schedule, uh, do you see, you know, who's some of the tough opponents you might be playing down the road? <laughs> well, obviously you got Frederick Douglass. Uh, if we make it that far <laughs> in the playoffs, that's obviously a good team. Or Scott County, whoever makes it out of that district. Yeah. And then um, Mass and Southern, we're going to see them again. That's a great football team yeah. out there. They play. They put 35 up on us, and they just ended up on top. But they're a good team. And, we, I mean, there's a bunch of – Good teams in 5A. You can't. There's Highlands, everybody like that. They're all good. There's a bunch of 5A schools. Best three and four team in the state was it playing yeah. opposite the opposite they're, you guys they're tonight. Pretty, yeah, they're yeah. good. They're good. They're Southern. huge. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're a good football team. Well, you know, you've really done a great job operating the offense and, and running this offense this year. And uh, because of that, we want to give you the crown trophy. Uh, star of the game tonight goes to uh, Turner. Um, you you opened up. Uh, you ended with three touchdowns, I believe. I, I had three rushing and one passing. Yeah, three yeah. three rushing touchdowns, one passing. Yeah. So, Coach Meehan, I think we gave it to the right guy, Turner McCollin. Right, Good you. game, Turner. Thank you so much. Uh, congratulations. Glad y'all can make it here. That was uh, Turner McCollin, our uh, star of the game, William. And the final score, 49-35, to 35, won by East Jesmond. That'll wrap it up here from East Jesmond. And thanks for listening to the Ming and watching the Mingy Beef Jerky High School Football for Mike Meehan, this is uh, Gary Ball and William Warfield, the King of Stream. So long from the Mingy Beef Jerky Game of the Week.